fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe But that's alright, hush Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we are playing Bully and this is the first episode of the Nostalgia series where I will be playing some of the old games that remind us of our early gaming days or this one is going to be a no commentary gameplay because the first episode is cutscenes, the intro and all that so I won't be messing with any of that also, if you want to add comments below, you should add suggestions about which game should I play what game would you like to watch and should I do it with commentaries or without commentaries so without any fault of time give it, let's just start the gameplay and take a trip down memory lane. Jimmy, please say something. James? What? Who are you? Mom, I thought you told me never to talk to strangers. Like I said before, Jimmy, please be nice to your new stepfather. Okay, rich guy. I love it that you're twice as old as my grandfather and you're fat and bald. Uh. That's enough! I've had it with you, you little brat! You've upset your mother. I've got half a mind to beat you. Half a mind is right. Suddenly he realizes. I can't believe you, you little monster. We'll deal with you when we get back from our honeymoon next year. Here we are, boy, Bullworth Academy. Have fun, Jimmy. I'll think of you from our cruise ship. <laughs> Whatever. Mom, why'd you marry that phony? What is wrong with you? Oh, I can't believe this. You must be the huh? Hopkins boy. Where'd you come from? We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very happy indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy, in the main building. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Brilliant. Maybe I should join the sports I've team. I've got to hit something! <laughs> you knew this was coming to you. <laughs> I'll be up. Are you hurting yet? <laughs> you know, wait, uh, check it out. Oh. Just hand it over. You're not a dick. You will not escape from the law. Look familiar? No, I've got you. I Last time I drank. <laughs> What's going on? Get hurt? Looks like your mom forgot to change your pants. Huh? I won't stop. No, are you are you? He's so annoying. Joke it. Like this okay? We respect you. Ah, yes. So, you must be Hopkins. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very good. Now, let me see. 
You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, bad language, violent conduct, disrespecting staff. Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Hopkins, you're quite the nastiest little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Because it's my calling. It's what I do. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you, at making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I've got a good feeling about you, boy, a feeling you and I are going to be great friends. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, Headmaster, and I got your tea. You are good to me, Miss Danvers. No more than you deserve, Headmaster. Take our new friend Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, Headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country, whose alumni are nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Where's your uniform, young Hopkins? Run along now, child. You want to hop in and help me I out? Ah, uh, stop it, pal! Ridiculous. I'm lucky I got the smart. This guy fell on my head. I don't think to get I feel any worse than I did. Looks like your mom Creep. got to change your pants. See you Anyways, later, I bye. guess. Bye. I better go Mayo study. Face. Bye. That could be dangerous. Why'd she leave me? I've got archives Why? to search. Farewell. What time it is? Yep, time for a beatdown. Get the new kid. Beat him down. Go, go, go! Ha ha! Yeah, take him to hell. Ha ha ha! Oh, oh! Use the arm bar. Use the arm bar. Stuff that door wide head up in your butt. Give him the finisher. Give him the finisher. Boy, you fight, fight. Finally, Stop. good old teenage bloodshed. Bubble him. Finally, some good old teenage blood shot. <laughs> right in the face! Oh, I ain't gonna forget. I never forget. I'll get you back in front of the horse. <laughs> You're dead, new kid. Dead. Hey, you! Break it up! That's enough of that. Break it up! Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Go change immediately! Aw, oh, come on. Here come comes on, the level five attack. I can take it! Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah? What's it to you? Friendly, aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Get off, man. Listen to me, tough guy. You just arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me, in a place like this, you're going to need friends. So it's up to you. You going to play nice or what? Yeah, sure. Good. So how about I show you around? <laughs> We don't have a bar in the door. Maybe just he's a soda like a machine. prophet or a psychic or something. You should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. He Why don't you do the world a favor and kill question. yourself? You can do your best, but I will defeat you. Why hasn't mommy called me yet? I wonder if she's mad at me. Hey, how you doing? You must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. 
Well, welcome to Bullworth. It's a dump. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. Give up the tough guy act, pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well, ADD primarily, but also life. My parents, this school, Western civilization. But really, honestly, enough about me. Oh, I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? <laughs> Look at you. Leave me alone, Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your problem? I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth on his inevitable journey to prison. Look, I gotta unpack. Would you guys mind getting out of here? <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Problem. What a laser brain! Is four teams too many to be on? Don't be stupid! 
No need for complex reasoning where a simple feeding will do. I wonder, could Shakespeare have... Thanks! Um, wanna make out? Time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. They're actually sneaky bastards. Their turf is the library. And those are the preps. They're all money and condescending attitudes. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant, Jimmy boy. Now, over there are the greasers. They think they're tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys rule the school. Definitely avoid them. Whatever, I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. You'll learn. Come on, let's go. You're here to learn, not to goof off. Get to class. Another Why good deed just done. Like that? in here. Oh, right. Class. Take care to follow my instructions precisely, as we will be working with volatile chemicals today. Fascinating, isn't it? Hmm, very good. Carry on. Keep up the good work. You're almost done. You may have a future ahead of you, young man. Oh, yeah! Simple. Can't wait to watch the game. You think I'm joking? Please don't hey, make me cry. You think you I'm can joking? People. You're in so much trouble. reason to lay some feats on someone. You won't get away with that. Fight me, Dillweed! Please, think of my dignity! I think I might be losing my grasp of an hour. Get back here, right now! I'll let you off. This is number one on the worst dress list. Gotta get you... I got you on my hat immediately! I will beat you for that! I always, always get my man! You are to obey and respect our staff at all times, Hopkins. This is your only warning. Don't mess up again. That is all, Hopkins. You'll have to skip along the me all year. You just are made you a serious mistake. The weapon? Perhaps I thought we were trying to history My breasts are assaulted. bigger than Edna's. My mama says this place is a dump. You seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here, my boy. I'm just trying to fit in. By fighting? By making a nuisance of yourself? That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Yeah, you could have fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. That's just school spirit. 
hijinks. Why, in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go now, sir? On your way. Hey, I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. This is what we do to teachers' pets around here. You better not. Ow! <laughs> come here, you little. Yeah, come and get me. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so do? good to see you. <laughs> That's pathetic. Mr. Number One on the worst guest list. Why are boys so confusing? I just don't get them. I think you suck. Go look at me. Dumb. Barf knocker. I saw him. You ran towards the bell. Oh, you were awful. I think Oscar Wilde was the sex man. You're such a loser. So lame and awful. I'll get him here. You better run. Done. Hey, I think Ted's kind of a wimp. Whatever, bro. Hey, listen, I wish stealing bikes Johnny was easy. Johnny is going to show everyone who's the boss around here. You ever broken a floor? I'm gonna love bare hands. You You better not be out here when the bell rings. Curriculum demands that you do these vocabulary, uh, assignments. Why do you finish them here in class? That way you'll have more free time. That's 
right. Good show. Well done. Good one. I'm afraid that's not English. Keep it up. I don't think that's in the dictionary. Good one. Well done, James. Well done, indeed. That meatball hero, no match for my stomach. Russell would be Barbarian King thousand years ago. Can't we just get along? Ha <laughs> stupid. <laughs> you okay? That's right. There was never any doubt.